Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, nigga, the Uzi spit. And yours with the cooling kit. Nigga, smack put you on, then you start using it. Nigga, when I hear, yeah, nigga, every fucking board. Nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 See, death got perks too. Yeah. Make him rap. You know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Clean paper versus Geechee Gotti GTX. Shout out to GTX Lush One Disaster. Uh, D Rec hit me up, shot me the pay per view for the joint. I definitely peeped a lot of the battles that went on, you know what I'm saying? I, I was in tune with what was going on. I liked the vibe, I liked the setting. I like I, I was I was entertained by a lot of the battles. I'ma recap Geechee Gotti versus Clean Paper, and then I'ma recap the whole event on another joint, you know what I'm saying? The battles that I saw. Or whatever the case may be, Geechee Gotti. So he comes into this battle versus Clean Paper. This battle was supposed to happen, I believe, back in February. Uh, for whatever reason it didn't happen, and they're battling now. Geechee Gotti has jazzed the rapper next week like the work ethic and the level of work that he does is uncanny to battle people like seven days in advance or eight days in advance so from my deductive reasoning i will think that Gichi Gotti was somewhat prepared for clean paper the first time they were supposed to battle and i'm sure clean paper because clean paper did say that he was you know he had two months to rehearse these verses that i wrote for you so that when you think of it a Geechee Gotti versus a Clean Paper. If the battle was scheduled to happen a couple months ago, you would think that they would be somewhat prepared so when they show up that they should be, you know, pretty much on point. In this battle, uh, Geechee Gotti, he, on a scale of 1 to 10, like let's say his top level performances, whether it be Lux or whether other cats be like that, he be on 10 like the whole battle. Like he'll, he'll snap on you, he'll have some freestyles, he'll have some rebuttals in there. Clean Paper... If he's usually on like a seven or an eight, when he's really in his bag, you gotta see some of Clean's like up there performances that he had. And I know a lot of them have already happened. You know what I'm saying? Me and Clean Paper have had back and forths. You know, he, he ain't like when I blogged him not showing up for a battle. I think he even said he wanted to fight me. I don't know if that'd be a smart decision, but you know, decisions are decisions. So we're here now. I'm, I'm recapping your battle and I like the fact of what you brought versus Geese you got it. I do have notes. Um, and I do have a winner. I do have a winner of this battle. So Geechee Gotti comes out in his first round. And he says, uh, you know, help him with his motor skills like he's taking the driver's test. You know, over clean. I like that. The OCD line. Uh, the crackhead in the rehab center won't let, us, won't let her casket in. And then he had another line. Uh, the smokers couple. He said, uh, the black lives matter. In the first round, you know, I've really seen black lives matter. Brains on the floor. I've seen black lives matter. You know, I'll leave his bitch on the floor. More black life, black life, black life matter. Uh, F the Lord, we on demon time. You know what I'm saying? Then he, he was talking about him being a vice lord, saying F the Lord, we on demon time. Nothing left of the Lord but his face like a Jesus piece. You know, that was a dope line. Uh, the VL, there'll be so many VLs around, it'll look like Louis Vuitton. Uh, that crab come out your mouth, it's going to be a different kind of shell that go in it. Pieces of little kitchen, it's an easy bake oven. Uh, I passed on 100K bills. Before that King of the Dot season. Very serviceable first round. Clean Paper's first round. He comes out. He's automatically in his bag. He doesn't get you. Got the impression. Uh, you know, they put you on smack. Then you started using it. Uh, Lou and drugs at bed. Drugs effed up your career. Uh, it's real easy to say they can't see in your eyes. Rather rap a pound before I rap a verse. Like, he was basically saying, like, y'all take battle rap seriously. I'd rather rap a pound before I rap a verse. Uh, he said, he said, uh, he said, bitch, I'm in Detroit battling a real pistol case. He said, uh, he said, my son don't ever miss a meal. Uh, he said, I'd rather miss battle rap than come home and one of the homies be missing. Uh, he said, he had another line, uh, Geechee with the sweeper, bring back my dancing days. And like all throughout his first round, Clean had very solid angles. Like he used Geechee Gotti's flow 
and it sounded like Geechee Gotti. Like when you listen to what he's saying, you got Geechee Gotti versus nigga, why the fuck you let your career slip? Like he starts going in on him like that. I love what Clean Paper is doing. I got Clean Paper with the first round. Let's just do it like that. Uh, I'm gonna skip to the third round. Uh, Geechee Gotti in his third round, he comes out, he says, meeting women off Twitter spaces and falling in love with them. You meet a profile picture, then at the next event, you kissing them. That's nasty work. He says, Eliza versus. He had, he started going in on that. Uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, I could turn you back into a listener. He said, you know, the spaces, I could turn you from a host to a listener. He said, you a musty motherfucker. You got to smell like a pound in here. Slap the bitch out you till a child appear. Screenwriter. He said, my third, my... My doctor thought I was a screenwriter. I kept bringing him scripts. I thought that was fire. Uh, the first one, Jam, he had the chance, but it was clickbait. Then he had another line. I'm in the middle of two and through like Sunday. Like, man, I'm in the middle of two and through like Wednesday. So two will be T-U-E, and Wednesday will be W-E-D, and Thursday will be third. two and through. I'm in the middle of two and through like, okay, cool. Um, he said, he had another line where he said, uh, I'm Bo Jack. Uh, he said, uh, he, the Bojack line, you know what I'm saying, ran base and took, they said, I took everything but advice from niggas. He says, uh, I see all the love you, I see all the love they was getting at funerals that convinced us that death was cool. Uh, living raw like wrestlers, but the tombstone wasn't a special move. Then he said, uh, 87 finals, I can make a bird with magic. Matter of fact, then he flipped it and said, I'm the only one that could sell ticks in LA. I like that joint. Y'all finna pay me for making me take clean a week before I take that cop bitch jazz. Like he's taking literally a week before. So uh, round three, uh, clean paper comes out. Uh, 40s and nines like Loke Dog's favorite at the liquor store. Bitch, my book, they wanted to see Pilates. It says, congratulations on your marriage buster. Uh, he says, they say love lasts forever. Death is, death is the only thing that lasts too. He said, hurry up and push it through like a tax return. He had another line, he said, uh, he was just joking. He said, uh, uh, he had a line where he said, here's some money, you go. He said, use a bitch. He had to use a bitch angle. He said, how you lose to A Ward twice. Uh, shot 27 pieces, let Snake Eye slide, and he had K CK on his shorts. Off the strength, I came to your hometown to tell you use a bitch. Like, his third round was very clean. I have Geechee Gotti Edge in the second round, and then in the, the third round, I have Geechee Gotti Edge in the third round. The second round, uh, Gigi Gotti comes out, he says, only when you was rapping, uh, only when you was rapping like me, you was getting a reaction. Then he took the Stewie Newton line, I need paper, you know what I'm saying, because Stewie had a line about need. Uh, OJ Lawyers, it took, it, it take OJ Lawyers to get off clean. He said, casket closed, last time we seen them was a no-show, soon as he hop out, uh, soon as he step out, landslide, he said, so much stuff, the car and guards. He said, the revolver spinning like the old clean. Folder and wash clean. He said popping 30s. Oh, yeah, that was fire He said your family will no ha longer have to earth you you get killed death has perks, too I like that line. He had a proposition Joe line uh, the clean shot he took him thousands He said I took thousands off of him and all I had was a nickel. I did like that He said the blade do renovation renovations now you're getting half a kitchen Only thing I reach for is my gun and personal goals. I like that joint, too. Uh, clean paper comes out his second round throw some candy in the middle to get to this bubble gum He said I let shit fly all day like a stewardess Titanic ripping crews apart battle was booked in February You know how, how we do in March. He said landlord uh, He said he said our landlord. I get you an early move-in date uh, He said Sanchez copper mark your name is he said copper, you know Sanchez. He started naming all of the marks uh, he said, uh, introduce Bay, Bay Lope to the bayonet. Uh, any hoe we done slid behind. Your granny told you get the switch. You found the tree and hid behind. Uh, he said, parallel to you. He said, Is a, you believe in a parallel universe. Now it's parallel to you because I'll beat your ass and beat Danny Myers' ass too. I like that. Uh, potato on that bitch who made the fries. Uh, he said, <laughs> cable guy, you let a great make you whine. He was talking about Arsenal beating him. You made a great make you whine. Little slap, big slap, get slapped, and he won't do nothing but stay behind. Yo, this battle was actually pretty fire. First and foremost, let's just do that for GTX, for uh, being able to come out with this first card and have this battle that was as fire as it was. I got clean paper winning this battle. Debatably, 2-1. Uh, I got clean paper winning the first and second round. Uh, there was certain little moments in Geechee's rounds where he'd be like, yo, yo, let's say, cuz, let me tell you something like this. it go like that. He'll, he'll do that shit. 
And geechee has been doing this so long, he's been so consistent that you can tell the moments in his rounds where he, if, if he has a part in his round where he's either putting it back together or being sharper for the next line or whatever the case may be. But I must say this, uh, battling Jazz the Rapper coming up in this weekend, you're going to need way more than this. Like this right here, uh, I, I liked it. It was cool. And this is just me keep, in order to keep it a buck, I got to be honest. Um, you're going to face people that are more prepared for you than you are for them if you're battling frequently. Um, there will be some people who will feel like Ishii got it, got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, there will be. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, if I watched, I watched the battle twice before I cut the camera on. And, you know, I got some notes and things like that. And I read and I looked and I'm like, uh, Clean wanted to battle and wanted to win this battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't very often where I could, like, dig into, like, recent Clean performances over the, you know, whether it be years or whether it be recent memory where I could be like, he wanted to win this battle. He still has the ability to win battles, but... It's either, you know, he doesn't have the battles or, you know, he's had the issues with the no-shows. And, you know, he gets so mad about... And the funny thing, when he, when he, when he wanted to fight me, is because I was talking about something that actually happened, like a no-show. I couldn't believe it. Like, I told you about these battle rappers, man. These niggas, they got gun bars that kill your mom, kill your aunt, kill your uncle. Let, them, let, the, let the gap blam hit you from the backhand. But if you mention them not showing up to a battle or you mention them losing or you mention them recycling this world war, they want to fight you, they want to fight your mom and all this other shit. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I ain't been touched yet and I go wherever I like. So, um, yeah, Clean Paper did very well in this battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just going to leave it there. Um... He wanted to win the battle, and Geechee Gotti showed up, and he had some moments in the battle. I ain't gonna act like, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't good at all, you know what I'm saying, but I just know that I've seen better in certain performances, and this was definitely like, I'm gonna show up, I'm wrap the clean for three rounds, I'm gonna get my bag, and I'm gonna keep it moving. I don't think it takes nothing away from him, per se, you know what I'm saying, because I rock with Geechee, I fuck with Geechee's movement, I rock with the No Studio, you know what I'm saying, I cop merchandise from them and all that shit, so I, I definitely got a, a high level of respect for what he does, and I said Geechee got he does what needs to be done in battle rap as far as branding yourself, marketing yourself, continuing to, you know, build your company, build your YouTube channel, build your shit so people is watching and staying in touch with you, but uh, the clean paper battle is cool, I watched it two times, I don't know if I'm watching again or nothing shit like that, but... I will say I do got Clean Paper winning this battle 2-1. Um, when Clean Paper shows up against MCs that he wants to battle and battles that, you know, he could do his thing in, he'd be bringing it. I like his level of comedic style, like him impersonating Geechee. If the battle was debatable, if I had it clean across the board, that level of being able to impersonate Geechee and then when his punchline started hitting, he's like, yeah, make him rap, make him rap. Yeah, yeah, every fucking bar, he did that shit perfectly. And you could tell it rattled Geechee just a little bit because when Geechee came back, he was like, make him rap, but not like me. Well, it's battle rap. If a nigga gonna use your shit against you and it land, you know what I'm saying, like proving it. You was a nigga that got on smack and started using it. Like, Geechee was able to Shang Tsung his power, use it against him, and rap against himself about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is uh, phenomenal. I definitely liked what uh, Clean Paper was doing. And, you know, I just, all this shit in here is jokes and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm never, I got a lot of respect for Clean Paper. You know what I'm saying? We have back and forth, ups and downs, but I respect what he does as an MC. I'm not fighting Clean Paper. I'm not fighting no artist. I'm a father with kids. I ain't got no time for that shit, man. But um, I do like what he did today. Uh, hopefully he finds a way to build upon this because I know he had a song with Geechee and a song with Surf and shit And I want to see clean win, you know what I'm saying? And the way he could start winning is by doing shit like he did, man So salute to GTX, salute to Direct, Lush One for putting this out I definitely rocked with it, you did